nasal high flow oxygen isn't just a comfort measure. It's a strategic tool in acute respiratory failure. This figure highlights how nasal high flow improves oxygenation. It boosts end expiratory lung volume, reduces dead space, decreases work of breathing, and improves patient comfort. But the key is using it well. The ROX index, that's SpO2 over FiO2 divided by the respiratory rate. One checks it at 2, 6, and 12 hours. If it's less than 2.85 at 2 hours, less than 3.47 at 6 hours, or less than 3.85 at 12 hours, you should consider intubation. If it's borderline, reassess in 30 minutes. If it's greater than or equal to 4.88 consistently, you're likely in the clear. Just monitor the patient. Bottom line is that nasal high flow works, but only when we monitor and act on it accordingly. Hat tip to the authors. Do you use the ROX index at bedside? Don't forget to check out the vasopressor and anotrope handbook.